Chairman Brown, Ranking Member Toomey, other members of the committee, thank you for this opportunity to appear before you. I'm greatly honored uh, to be nominated by President Biden to serve as Vice Chair of the Board of Governors of the Federal Reserve, and I'm delighted to be here alongside Acting Director Thompson. If confirmed, I look forward to continuing to work with members of this committee. We're seeing the strongest rebound in growth and decline in unemployment of any recovery in the last five decades. Over the past year, unemployment has fallen by 2.8 percentage points, and growth is estimated to be around 5.5%, according to a variety of private forecasts. But inflation is too high, and working people around the country are concerned about how far their paychecks will go. Our monetary policy is focused on getting inflation back down to 2% while sustaining a recovery that includes everyone. This is our most important task. When the pandemic struck in 2020, I worked closely alongside Chair Powell, Secretary Mnuchin, and many others with the support of Congress to calm financial market turmoil and save American jobs and businesses. When markets stabilized, I worked to responsibly wind down the emergency facilities that were established. And today, the economy is making welcome progress, but the pandemic continues to pose challenges. Our priority is to protect the gains we've made and support the recovery. Since 2014, as a member of the Federal Open Market Committee, I've supported monetary policy that's responsive to economic conditions as they evolve. Our approach helps sustain the longest recovery on record with low inflation and millions of jobs. More broadly, I've worked to safeguard and grow our economy during the administrations of five presidents from both parties. I've worked on the U.S. policy response to every major financial crisis over three decades. In some foreign countries, I've seen up close how high inflation hurts workers and families, especially the most vulnerable. I'm committed to pursuing the Federal Reserve's congressionally mandated goals of price stability and maximum employment, and to maintaining the strength and resilience of our financial markets. I'm committed to the independent and nonpartisan status of the Federal Reserve. If confirmed, I look forward to supporting Chair Powell in carrying out the responsibilities assigned to the Federal Reserve and in fostering transparent communication and accountability to you and to the American people more broadly. I will bring a considered and independent voice to our deliberations, drawing on insights from working people, businesses, financial institutions, and communities large and small around the country. Before closing, I want to thank my husband, Kurt, my daughters, Kaylin, Kira, and Chloe, for their steadfast support of my work. And I would like to commend the outstanding efforts of the many individuals across the Federal Reserve System who work so hard every day to serve the American public. Senators, I thank you for your consideration, and I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you.